hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel this is your girl adriana dc welcome 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 tonight's video is going to be a very exciting video tonight we are going to be reviewing some perfume oils from the brand luxador perfume oil a minute ago the brand reached out to me and asked me if i would like to try out some of their perfume oils and of course i was absolutely delighted i'm always delighted to explore new scents and you know new perfume oils and all that good stuff so the company sent over to me 10 of their oils and never mind i'm holding it in the little like um <laughs> the little cut the little like um pattern that it came inside of the box and that's because the box actually got damaged i literally took these perfume oils with me on my vacation i didn't get a chance to review them so yeah the box did get a little bit damaged but of course i'm gonna insert a picture right here so you guys can see the beautiful you know black and gold packaging that, that the company sent over the perfume oils to me in it was really classy so before we get into the video let me just tell you guys a little bit about the company so the company is actually called luxador oils and they're based in dubai so the company is a wholesaler for perfume oils and they sell to big and small companies the company sells authentic perfume oils sourced in Switzerland. You can actually sample the oils before you buy, you know, um, obviously a bigger bottle. Um, obviously, the company sent over to me 10, 10 ml bottles of oils for me to explore the scent. So obviously, you can kind of like order these oils in these small batches, test them out, see which one you like and get well acquainted with the scents and then of course you can order you know the bigger bottle the one that you choose you can actually make your own unique scents from the perfume oils by combining either two or three of them and you can actually purchase ethanol from your local drugstore in order to make the scent for yourself so i quite like the idea of these perfume oils especially creating my own unique scent and kind of like tailoring it you know to my own you know preference so i definitely like that vibe but yeah if you guys are interested in exploring any of the perfume oils from luxador oils please head over to the website luxadoroil.com that's luxadoroil.com check the description box for the link and of course i'm going to include a link of all of the scents that the company sent me down in the description box so that way you guys can you know check these particular scents out as well as i'm going to be giving you guys my thoughts and opinion about these scents tonight and let you guys know if it's worth you know diving into exploring and how they perform and so forth so forth because i've kind of had some time with these oils like i said to you guys i took them with me to anguilla and i used one or two of them because they had somewhat of a, a familiar scent so yeah if you guys are interested in hearing my thoughts on luxor perfume oils then by all means keep on watching if you guys are new here please don't forget to hit that subscribe button make sure to hit the notification bell so that way you will be notified every single time i upload and for those of you who are my returning subscribers thank you guys for supporting me i truly appreciate your support i have 10 oils here i'm gonna be sampling every single one of them for you guys okay and i'm trying to do it as quickly as possible because you know i'm mad long-winded when it comes to you know <laughs> sampling and reviewing stuff while um it is not my first impression for um all of them i'm gonna give you my full view of how these scents smell to me and my experience wearing them so let me just get on with the first perfume oil okay. Okay, and it says right here that this is a pure perfume oil and the name of this perfume oil is a trap rev i just quickly checked my little sample box to see if i have a sample of the fragrance a trap rev but unfortunately i do not so i'm just gonna be giving you guys my thoughts on you know this um the perfume oil sourced by luxador it's quite a neat little perfume uh, roller ball bottle that they sent over to me um interestingly enough the roller ball is actually like a silver okay, i've never seen any perfume oils come with a silver ball before but yeah the bottles are nice and hefty very strong they feel glass they feel like glass and the liquid is full to the brim so i'm gonna have a blast with these perfume oils as you can possibly imagine i am going to enjoy using them up so this is the attrap rev like the louis vuitton fragrance me what i'm getting from this fragrance is florals i'm getting a soapy clean floral essence from this perfume oil very pretty very strong there's like an accentuated note in here it's just like it's really sweet as well and it definitely smells concentrated okay it definitely smells concentrated 
and I love the heightened, it's like a floral note. There's definitely a lot of florals in this particular scent. Now these perfume oils are very strong in my opinion, okay? Because I actually tried out one of them previously and I smelt it quite, it was quite, it, it was projecting quite loud on my hand. So this one is a little, is, this one is soft. It's a soft floral, but the florals are definitely accentuated. They're kind of getting like, um, something a little bit squishy in this oil like yellow florals as well perfume oil is described as an amber floral fragrance as i you know assume top notes of lychee ginger and bergamot middle notes peony cacao turkish rose and base notes of patchouli okay i want to say um, i'm getting florals not a very prominent note of rose so to speak and again there is something a little bit screechy in this fragrance and I'm guessing it's the lychee and the ginger in the top. So you have some lychee, ginger and bergamot in the top which is coming off quite a little bit screechy but in a pleasant way. And the lychee is not like overwhelming the fragrance like in most perfumes. It's a beautiful blend of the lychee, ginger and bergamot I would say. It's a beautiful fragrance, a beautiful perfume oil in my opinion. This perfume oil can be worn on its own because this is... It's giving me a bit of a tingly feeling in the nose so it's quite strong as to whether or not this fragrance smells exactly like a trap rev i can't i can't speak on that i have smelled a trap rev before and what i recall from a trap rev is that it was very subtle and quite soft it didn't come off this loud it, it wasn't this um it didn't project that much when i tried it in the store i didn't play around with it or whatever but it definitely didn't come off this um sharp and as prominent as this scent profile all i know this is absolutely divine it's a beautiful scent something quite similar to white patchouli from tom ford there's a slight bit of spiciness in this fragrance in my opinion but i think it's absolutely beautiful next up i'm going to try claw narcotic i hope that's how you say that word now i smelled this one before prior to doing this video and I do not know the fragrance that this fragrance is inspired by, that this perfume oil is inspired by, but we're just going to get to the notes in a minute. I'll pop this one right here. I'm going to tell you guys what I get from it and then I'm going to look up the notes. So this one is giving me slight um, Delina vibes. I'm definitely getting rose. There's definitely a prominent note, um, note of rose, but there's definitely florals. Okay. A slight hint of spice and powderiness. I'm getting definitely Delina vibe. I want to say it's giving me um, a mixture of Delina and um, Portrait of a Lady. That's what I'm getting. I'm getting slight vibes of Delina and Portrait of a Lady in Flor Nakatik. I don't know the original fragrance. Okay, so let me just pull up the notes, but I'm definitely getting very prominent vibes from the of, of delina definitely getting a lot of delina vibes from this one so this perfume oil is actually an impression of ex nihilo's flor narcotique now i don't know the ex nihilo's brand never tried it so i'm not familiar with that brand can't tell you what the scent smells like however the top notes in this floral fruity fragrance we have lychee of course definitely getting the lychee peach and bergamot Definitely getting that in the top note. Hot notes, you have your orange blossom, jasmine, and peony. In the base, you have your oak moss, white moss, and woods. I want to say you're definitely getting the lychee and the peach and the bergamot. Definitely a very beautiful combination in the opening. And the orange blossom, jasmine, and peony in the heart. I'm getting a very beautiful floral heart, you guys. Again, the peonies. The peonies combined with the jasmine are definitely a nice, soft, and mellow, pretty um you know florally touches in the heart and it's quite powdery very refreshing i'm getting slight essence of the oak mass it's like very invigorating as well i think it's a beautiful scent now you guys know i'm not into delina at all okay but this fragrance it's a bit more so whereas delina is like um it's not as prominent and i think that's what it is the perfume oils are coming off a lot more richer in my opinion and this is coming off much more richer than the Lena and therefore much more impressive the lychee and the peach and the bergamot in the top is much more heightened a lot more sweetness than the Lena vibes and of course in the base like I said to you guys it's giving me somewhat of a it's an invigorating um, slightly woody powdery vibes 
which kind of resembles that of portrait of a lady to me so that's the vibe i'm getting from this perfume from this oil it's definitely a very beautiful smelling perfume oil in my opinion and the projection on this one is quite decent but i will say that the um yeah the first oil that i tried the attrap rev is a little bit more stronger than the floor nakatik okay yeah definitely the florals and the fruitiness is a bit more fleeting in this perfume oil but it is most definitely a very beautiful oil and the scent is very prominent and very very pretty guys. next up we are gonna try stella times you guys so let me just well let me smell it first give you guys what i'm smelling and then we get to the notes i'm probably gonna run out of hand space tonight but that's the joy of it all okay this one um this one has a very interesting smell stella time smells like cranberry in tamarind jam all right so stella times is reminding me of a fragrance that i had gotten from tiziana terenzi it has some like of a grassy green citrusy um yeah citrusy a little bit slight bit sour essence in my opinion like i said to you guys i'm getting slight cranberry and tamarind jam kind of vibe if that makes sense to you guys so i don't know if this is a fairly new creation from the brand i'm not seeing anything on their website for stellar times but i am seeing that this is an impression of louis vuitton's stellar times fragrance and the notes that's highlighted here on the fragrance look out for the original fragrance is orange blossom amber and woody notes there's a lot of notes missing from this um, fragrance from this web from the website. So, like I said to you guys, on Fragrantica, I'm getting amber, orange blossom, and woodsy notes. On the Louis Vuitton website, it is being described as an amber odyssey through time and space. Amber accord, of course, orange blossom, and the soft woody touches in this fragrance. So that's what it's being described as. As oh, ever. I'm getting like a grassy green citrusy vibe from this perfume not getting a lot of amber at all okay yeah and that's what I get from this scent either way you put it it smells like something that um, amouage would make it smells complex it smells um, very much different not something that I would usually gravitate towards because it has like you know like a sour cranberry vibe to it even though it's an amber fragrance i don't know but still at times mm, definitely not really a vibe to me so the next oil i'm gonna be sampling is f dot fabulous and i'm guessing they're you know hinting to f and fabulous by tom ford now i don't have this fragrance in my collection i have sampled it in store and i was not blown away by it in store so let's see what you know luxor perfume oils did with this particular scent All right, so this one i definitely love the scent i love the way this smells it has like a, um there's something slightly chocolatey and woody in this fragrance and it's leaning a little bit masculine in my opinion but i'm getting dark chocolates and wood and i love it definitely dark chocolates and a powdery woody scent let me just oh i love the smell of this one right so this is in fact Luxador's impression of Tom Ford's F in Fabulous. So in the top notes we have clary sage and lavender. Middle notes we have some bitter almond, leather, vanilla and oris. Base notes we have some leather, tonka bean, cashmere, white woods and amber. So there isn't any chocolate but I'm definitely getting something chocolatey. It smells chocolatey and sweet. I don't know if it's this, the leather and the vanilla combining, but it's definitely like a, I get like a chocolatey, woody essence in my opinion. There's a slight leathery vibe, but I'm getting more woods than leather. I'm not getting a lot of leather in this fragrance. It's much more on the woodsier side. Definitely give me somewhat of a chocolatey vibe. I don't know. Lavender. I definitely picked up the lavender when I initially smelt it. I definitely picked up lavender, but I wasn't quite sure. Again, it's leaning a bit masculine and i'm guessing that's why it's leaning on the masculine side because of the lavender definitely a really scrumptious one i love this fragrance it definitely leans on the masculine side it would wear beautifully on a man 
yeah i think this is more suitable for a man in my opinion but i would definitely wear it because it smells really nice but it would be mostly like um a formal wearing type of scent or like a, you know if you're going to work in an office i would wear this type of fragrance and that kind of scent next up we're going to be trying love don't be shy you guys now of course you know i have this fragrance in my collection so i can give you guys a comparison of how you know whether or not this fragrance definitely smells like the real you know love don't be shy oh, i love it it smells stronger and heavier okay i'm getting a lot of orange blossom a lot of orange blossom and marshmallows a heightened sweet honeyed heightened marshmallow and orange blossom essence it is so beautiful you guys it smells like um marshmallows and honeycombs that's what it smells like marshmallows and honeycombs mixing with that orange blossom essence it is stronger and heavier and sweeter love it oh my god it's so i'm getting like a tuberose vibe it's giving me like a bubblegum esque vibe okay so love don't be shy I want to say it's quite close okay so i went and grabbed my love don't be shy by killian just to give you guys an accurate comparison and give you guys my accurate views so let me just see so this one is right here oh where am i gonna put you now okay i haven't worn this one long time okay so what i am getting from killian the alcohol so what i'm getting from the luxodo oil i'm not picking up any alcohol at all but I am picking it up when I smell the love don't be shy. So you're definitely getting the, you know, marshmallowy, yeah. honeyed, orange blossom scent like we always do. But it's softer and mellow and you're getting hints of the alcohol. Whereas with this one, I'm just getting a very prominent, you know, um, strong, honeyed, like um, orange blossom essence. Like a marshmallows mixing with honey and orange blossom essence and it smells like honeycombs so um the sweetness is a lot more concentrated in the oil because of course it doesn't have the alcohol so i definitely love that i will say to you um Luxor's perfume oil smells like an intense version of love don't be shy so if you guys are looking to intensify your love don't be shy the Luxor perfume oil is definitely it you guys definitely 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 it you guys definitely the way to go layered with the love don't be shy perfume so we have five down and five more to go next up i am going to be trying another 13 which is a very strange name let me see if i can find any more space on my hand so i don't know this fragrance never heard of it okay Ooh. this one is very very soft okay so it's giving me um Christian Dior's Boy Dajan vibe. It just smells soft, sweet. I'm definitely getting an irisy vibe, okay? Definitely getting an iris vibe because it's a soft, powdery essence, in my opinion. Very, very feeting. Nothing jumping out at you. Very linear and extremely mild. So let's just see what another 13 is inspired by or what fragrance, you know, what's, what it's meant to smell like. So the brand actually doesn't have any information for another 13 on the website but of course i'm going to google it to try, you know to figure out where this fragrance is, is from so another 13 is from a brand called le labo and i have not tried this fragrance as yet so while the luxodoroil.com website does not have anything about another 13 le labo has briefly described this fragrance as an ambroxide a synthetic animal musk i'm definitely getting musk that's it it's all about the musk making another 13 an addictive dirty potion blended with other carefully selected ingredients such as jasmine and moss so we have jasmine moss and musk but this makes sense so it, i knew it was something soft and powdery it doesn't have an iris but definitely has an um, musk so it's a very very subtle soft this is just like pure musk okay it is just like pure musk again giving off a slight irisy vibe because it's sweet and powdery in my opinion yeah just sweet and powdery 
and i don't feel like this fragrance is this oil isn't worth much to me this one here yeah if this one definitely it's giving me vibes lani trezor musk diamante definitely i am getting the musk diamante because it's drying down to like something a bit more sweeter and fruitier but it's as soft and mellow as the boy d'ajan from christian dior very soft and very mellow barely existent this spray this perfume oil doesn't do anything for me at all absolutely nothing so another 13 it's pretty but it's pretty soft and pretty mild next up we are going to try ooh, ombre nomad and of course i have this one in my collection and i'm gonna say to you guys this is the one that i've already tried from the brand and this this was pretty bang on you guys let me just tell you guys right off the bat this was pretty bang on and so what i'm getting from this one is a heightened oud note it's almost the exact version of ombre nomad it smells almost identical it's a lot more leathery and the oud is a lot more amped up and it smells a little bit more animalic than the oud in the ombre nomad perfume but this is bang on and we already know that the ombre nomad from louis vuitton packs a punch and this one wears the same way however the heightened animalic oud essence and i want to say there's like a slight leathery vibe in here leathery patchouli woody vibe in this perfume oil and this is by far the most impressive impression out of all 10 you guys I mean, Love Don't Be Shy is lovely. It's an intense version, but this is the exact version of Ombre Nomad. I'm also quite, quite, quite fond of Ombre Nomad, and I definitely like how strong this smells. I would say that this can still heighten the smell of Ombre Nomad, but I would say to you, Ombre Nomad within its own right is already a very strong and concentrated oud, heavy oud fragrance. And this is like very very it smells very 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 like identical to it just like you know amped up with the oud and you know the leathery and woody touches in my opinion love 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 the smell of this one next up we are gonna try ooh, oh, baccarat rouge you guys okay so you guys know how i feel about baccarat rouge i am not moved in the slightest way by baccarat rouge but it would be interesting to see, you know, what Luxador does with the, you know, the ever so popular um, Baccarat Rouge DNA. Oh God, this is glorious. Though. I'm not going to lie. Why is it that I don't care for Baccarat Rouge, but I love every other version of it. So this smells like Baccarat Rouge with Oud. So this is magnificent. This is giving you more slight remnants of instant crush and of the um, white musk from Natafa. That's it. In the white bottle, or I'm getting a bit more remnants of instant crush. So different, this one is definitely heightened, stronger, much more prominent, and it smells like it has an oud. Okay, so it's probably not oud because um, I'm getting like saffron. Let me just see the notes. Well, the ever so popular notes. I'm definitely getting saffron coming through though. So, unfortunately, the website does not have any information about Baccarat Rouge on their website. But we already know. I guess they didn't bother to waste your time <laughs> and, you know, add those notes because we are, again, a much more prominent, heightened um, saffron note. But it smells like saffron and oud. Slight woody touches in my opinion very pretty a lot more heightened than you know baccarat rouge i would say if you guys have baccarat rouge and you're a nice make to the scent you might want to layer it with the baccarat rouge oil from luxador oil i would say to you i know a lot of people have tried to replicate baccarat rouge this is a heightened scent of the baccarat rouge a little bit closer to the extract the parfum the baccarat rouge extract the parfum because a bit more sweeter and a bit more heightened definitely sexier definitely stronger and definitely a lot more of what you would want you know from you know a baccarat rouge you guys that's how i feel <laughs> but yeah this is i definitely love you know the impression of baccarat rouge here um because it smells better and stronger than the original baccarat rouge in my opinion next up we have chanel number no. five and chanel number no. five is one of the oils that i sampled first when i initially got this set so oh wow Ooh. 
god this is fantastic so this is an exact match of the right that's it and that's why i'm so in love this is an exact match of chanel number no. five but it's the chanel number no. five oil you guys know that chanel, chanel has a you know the most divine swelling perfume oil i don't care if you guys think it's vintage or not chanel number no. five has the most divine smelling perfume oil and this is it you guys the florals so i'm getting the florals let me just give you guys the notes in this luxor so this perfume is part of a floral aldehyde top notes of course aldehyde ylang ylang and neroli bergamot and peach middle notes of iris jasmine rose and lily of the valley base notes of sandalwood vanilla oak moss vetiver and patchouli and i'm definitely getting the florals so this is a bang on a very invigorating match it's a lot more stronger and heightened and like i said to you there's something the oak moss and the vetiver is heightened in the perfume oil it smells stronger and sexier and i always say to people yes the chanel number no. five perfume smells a little bit vintage but the way to go is to try the oil the oil is in my opinion a much more youthful and modern version of chanel number no. five and it smells divine this is even better but this one is um i would say it's it's a lot more prominent so it's kind of bringing out the original chanel number no. five dna in my opinion whereas the uh, the perfume oil that chanel has is a little bit more mellow down but still very strong and what i love about chanel number no. five oil this one and the other one is that you can wear these oils on its own and the projection the scent profile is crazy okay this is a beautiful match to chanel number no. five a very impressive heightened and stronger version and i love it because i'm a chanel number no. five girl okay and we are down to the very last um perfume oil from luxador and we have ombre nuit you guys know i don't you guys know how i feel about dior i do have a mini bottle of ombre nuit so i can't wait to compare these two um perfume oil so this is a bit awkward because i've run out of hand space so i'm going further up oh my god this is scrumptious this is beautiful you hey okay this one is very very impressive okay you guys know the ombre nuit um dna is already such a beautiful classy amber scent they completely amp well obviously this is the perfume oil and it's meant to be the original concentration or the impression of the original concentration and they definitely amp up that you know the amberiness in this perfume oil and it's even more sexier and classier so for me i think this would go beautifully layered with the ombre this is really 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 nice you guys i want to say there's something about this one in particular that's jumping out to be my favorite out of all the oils i've tried tonight and that's because the scent profile is so prominent and so on point you guys but yeah this is a very very impressive amped version of the ombre new perfume it's scrumptious you guys this one is definitely blowing my socks off so if i just quickly round up my favorite from this my favorite from you know the entire from all these perfume oils i'm gonna give you guys my top five favorite luxador perfume oils and i'm gonna say to you guys even though i was so blown away by ombre nomad ombre nuit definitely is the best one in my opinion all right so if i were to recommend any of these perfume oils to you guys ombre nuit would be number one next would be the ombre nomad so ombre nuit number one ombre nomad number two number three would definitely be love don't be shy number four would be would be my beloved chanel number five and number five would be flor narcotique you guys these five perfume oils were the most impressive in this discovery set that i have i am in love with these perfume oils these ones in particular i think definitely yeah definitely definitely impressed me now i know i have all of these scents in my collection except for the floor narcotic so i don't know if that's why my senses are biased to these particular scents but this brand definitely did these oil, definitely did these perfumes, um, these 
sense the justice in my opinion they're prominent they're stronger and i would say they would make beautiful beautiful oils to layer with the actual perfume itself you guys so there you have it these are my thoughts on these beautiful luxor oils they definitely smell like quality stuff they definitely you know hit the nail hit the nail on the head bang on with some of these scents uh, of course the ones that i am familiar with they're absolutely beautiful and i just love you know the quality in the oils and the scent profile in my opinion so if you guys you know are looking to explore some puffy oils definitely check these oils out don't forget to head on over to the website and just see you know all the different oils that they have they do have quite a lot of oils they have a lot of um like oud oils you know definitely suitable for this time of year so i probably will be having a look at those but yeah if you guys enjoyed this video please give me a very big thumbs up if you guys are new here please don't forget to hit that subscribe button make sure to hit that notification bell so that way you will be notified every single time i upload and for those of you who are my returning subscribers thank you guys for supporting me i truly appreciate your support and until next time see you guys in my next video bye